So by the time you were out of the college system, had you gotten into approaching stuff and whatnot? Right at the end, like, so I was studying for my law school exam, yeah. LSAT, and I came across the game or something like that. Oh, and when I first read that book. Totally. Oh, it flips you on. You flips yeah. your shit. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. And um, it's funny, though, because it's like, in a sense, it's great because you realize all this opportunity that you thought was otherwise impossible, right. but then it sets you on this path of like fucked up PUA mindset. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That, that is, that is true. So I was like reading that when I was studying for my LSAT and this switch just flipped, dude. Yeah. I was like, dude, I want to do what's in this book. Yeah. Now fuck that book. You yeah. know? And at that time I honestly just checked out of being like a lawyer. Right. I'm like, I'm going to do the native American thing. I applied to, uh, a whole bunch of schools as a Native American, not as an American Indian. Yeah. Harvard told me we want American Indians who have uh, who carry uh, reservation cards. Right. I was like, okay, what about a Native Hawaiian? They're like, no, but other schools may may go for that. Huh. I said, okay. The ironic thing is, I'm not Hawaiian. I'm not Native American. Yeah. But for its self report, yeah. What do you consider yourself as? Well, I consider myself as a Native Hawaiian. You know, so for, for like, college admissions, I consider myself a native Hawaiian. Yeah. So they like, um, I feel like even now I wonder how they would, you know, people like self identify as exactly. like weird shit. Like, right. could you not just be like, I believe I am. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. There's a law school. I, or and a, it's a, like, they'd get in shit for not like letting you. Absolutely. You and know? there's been lawsuits over that. I think that's insane. <laughs> it was an Ivy school. Um, I'm, I'm going to say Columbia or maybe it was higher than just, just, you know, random average white kid said that uh -huh. he was black and, um, and they found what? No, that, yeah. Continue what the, you just said. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to look at the law, the lawsuit. I'm trying to think of the kid's last name, but they, he applied as an African American. Uh. Who is, there's absolutely no yeah. ties to that at all. Yeah. And I don't think even think his essays talked about how he identifies with the African American culture. None of that. He just said he was he was black, and um, hmm. he got into school. I think he got a partial scholarship. What? Jesus. And then, um, well, I got a scholarship too for. No. Yeah, but it was like they didn't know. Whereas for him, it was probably pretty obvious. Um. No, I, well, it depends on what era it is because they don't necessarily see a picture. Now, if you're going to med school, which requires an interview, that's right. going to be a little bit different. So like, for you, you didn't have an interview or anything? No, but I came to the campus, University of San Diego, and I showed up there. I feel like you could I put on anyways. Tanner and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 And my essay to like law school was like, how about how like Hawaii needs a lawyer to like liberate them from u.s imperialism because the island of hawaii yeah. actually was just stolen by the u.s right and i was like that's gonna be my goal is to return hawaii hawaii oh, to the natives God. yeah so like nice. you know like um social thing. justice yeah. warrior coming yeah yeah so you're gonna give me money yeah <laughs> you're at least gonna let me into the school um i have no regrets about that but i left in six days yeah. but it really didn't co i had to break my lease to move to la out of the apartment i rented but oh, other than some books like it didn't cost me anything it was yeah. interesting